And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Oh, the chilly 1960s at on um, this date. Uh, as typical with a lot of weather data from the 1960s, it was the earliest freeze on record. We had a lot of rough winters then. We had a lot of late springs, and boy, fall seemed to arrive pretty early. Right up into the 60s and the 1970s. On this date, it was 29 for the low at Winnemac, 30 wheat field, and from Delphine, Romney, Kentland, Covington, all the way to Logan's Fort, 31 or 32. West Lafayette at the Purdue Ag Farm down to 33 degrees. Still pretty cool today, but certainly no freeze to speak of. But I tell you what, if you're up towards Rochester tonight in Logansport, there could be a patch or two of light frost in some typically cold locations, low places. And a pretty nice Saturday, pretty nice Sunday. But the new data, it, it looks a little wetter. Once we get into Sunday evening, Sunday night, I originally kept any shower out of the forecast due to all the dry air, but we may have enough lift to at least squeeze out a couple showers on Sunday evening, Sunday night. And then it warms up next week with showers and storms to end the week. But tonight, though, 38 Logansport, Rochester, Winnemac, 39 Burlington, 41 Lafayette, 42 Fowler, and all the way down to 41 degrees towards Tipton, Atlanta. Really from Rochester and Winnemac, Star City through Royal Center, 12 mile Logansport down to Burlington. There could be a patch or two of light frost and highs tomorrow. Everyone's going to be pretty much right around 72 degrees. And with the big Purdue fighting Irish game, once we head into tomorrow evening, it'll cool off pretty quickly as well after that high of 72, 69 by 6 o'clock, 65 at 7. Once we get towards game time, cooling off into the 50s, and then even at midnight, around 52 degrees. Headed for largely lows in the 40s, 43 Kokomo, 49 Lafayette, but around 51 out towards Fowler, 47 at Monticello. And for Sunday, warms up a little bit. We'll have highs low, perhaps a couple mid-70s, 71 Winnemac. 74 at Lafayette, Romney, 73 at Attica, and about 74 at Crawfordsville. Now, as we get into Sunday, high pressure is still going to be pretty much in charge of our weather with a lot of dry air. Thing is, the big upper low kind of wobbling in the Rockies that's brought all the catastrophic flooding to Colorado. It will weaken and kind of wobble eastward. A little piece of that may affect us with more clouds later Sunday and Sunday night, and that may spark a couple of showers. Otherwise, it'll be pretty dry. Now, once we get into later next week, all this tropical moisture down here, this tropical storm Ingrid, that'll start to move northward. You combine that with a cold front approaching, and the severe threat will be very close to us. We're looking at showers and storms, strong tropical flow from the south, stronger upper level winds. So just northwest of here, severe weather likely. For us, we're going to keep an eye on it, but it definitely looks like a decent chance of showers and storms as we get into Thursday and Friday with humid conditions. And, and pretty warm conditions too. Notice 80 Tuesday, but up to 86 Thursday and 85 degrees on Friday. Going to feel like summer again. It is going to be a very nice weekend. Looking yes. forward to that. Oh, you bet. All right, Chad, sure. thank you. Well, just